All right, guys. Chat Cats here. Welcome to today's episode. I'm here at South Chickamauga Creek. It's been a while since I've been here. We had a lot of rain uh, a couple days ago that dumped like five inches. Uh, the water is like chocolate milk. It's high, muddy. We have a pretty fast current in here. Uh, I'm fishing from the Magic Dock, as some of you call it. I've pulled a lot of big fish from here in flood conditions. Um, I got the bait runners on right now. I may need to turn them off. Just depends on uh, if the current picks up anymore. Honestly, the, the floodgates are cranking on more and more. They've increased the current the past hour or two. And I'm just gonna fish here for a couple hours. I have a bluegill head on this rod and a shellcracker head on this one. So we're really just hunting for a big fish. I mean, we have everything going in our favor. It's just a matter of if there's anything here. Uh, what makes this place pretty good is the current break. Uh, the current's really fast right out, right out in here. Oh, I thought I had a bite there for a second. Um, but the current's really fast out in here. And over here we have a current seam, current break. This dock is very good uh, in giving us that current break. So I only have the baits dropped literally right in front of the dock. Um, they're not casted out or anything. They're just literally right underneath this dock. So this serves as a structure uh, for the catfish. And uh, yeah, guys, we'll just see what we can get. Stay tuned. Fish on already, guys. I think we took about maybe 10 minutes. He ain't very big. He's a nice one though. Upper teens, low twenties. He's solid. Look at that fish. That's why I came here, guys. I just had a feeling it was going to happen. All the stars and planets have to line up just right for this spot to produce, I feel like. Okay, I need to get my grippers. Ah, come here, buddy. Quit. Ah, missed him. Got him. All right. Ugh. He's solid. Look at that fish. Solid, solid, solid. Got him right in the fat part of his mouth. All right, guys, let's go ahead and send this fish back to the dips. There she goes. All right, that's a good start.
I think this time I'm going to go ahead and put on a big chunk here. That came on a bluegill head. And we didn't get any debris on the line. No leaves. That's good. Um, so guys, we just, as I was telling you before, we had a lot of rain from Tropical Storm Fred. And this is hurricane tropical storm season and just wanted to come out here this is my favorite bank fishing spot and you can pretty much count on me giving you guys a video during flood conditions I mean this creek is dynamite so now I think I only waited like 10 minutes or so did not take long I'm gonna move this in a little closer here. All right. Looks like we got a little bit of weeds on here. Not too, too bad, but I think what I'm going to do, guys, is move my baits closer to the bank. Just seems like that we're getting a lot of um, currents just picked up a little bit, and, and I got a feeling as as it starts to get darker, the cats will be. Moving closer to the bank. Okay. There's fish here, guys. It's just a matter of time when another one takes the bait. Um, I'm gonna give it till dark, right when the sun's going down, and then I'll head back. But this is a success of my trip, catching that 20 pounder. So we'll keep our fingers crossed and see if we get another one. <laughs> 